This video will discuss Slater determinants as a method to generate anti-symmetric wave functions for atoms and molecules. So from the previous video on the anti-symmetry principle, we showed that our wave function, whenever it has multiple electrons, it has to be anti-symmetric under the exchange of any two electrons. So if we have electron 1 and electron 2, if we switch all the labels of electron 1 and electron 2, exchanging them for one another, we have to get the same wave function but with a minus sign in front. So the way we did this is, in the previous video, instead of using a Hartree product of our atomic orbitals where we just multiply orbitals together for our individual electrons, we use this anti-symmetric combination of them and then there's going to be a normalization constant out front. So we have in orbital 1, electron 1, orbital 2, electron 2, minus elect orbital 1 has electron 2 and orbital 2 has electron 1. Whenever we switch the labels now, this term becomes the negative of what results and this term becomes the negative of what results over there. And if you switch all the labels, you'll find that this statement is indeed true. So the 1 over 2, square root of 2 is there for normalization. If you if you integrate psi star psi, you should get a 1, and this term will generate a 1, that term will generate a 1, so this wave function squared should give 1 half, so that 1 half gives us the correct normalization because each of these Hartree products gives us a value of 1 once we integrate. Okay, so let's assume that we have elect, uh, orbital 1 holding electron i. Let's say that's 1s alpha. That's the 1s orbital with a spin-up electron. Let's say psi 2 is the 1s orbital with a spin-down electron, a beta electron. Then we can represent this function here in the following way. We can say psi 1, 2 equals 1 over the square root of 2 of the determinant of this matrix. So each row of this matrix is a different electron, and each column is a different orbital. So for a 2 by 2 determinant, the result is top left times bottom right minus top right times bottom left. That gives this expression here once you factor everything out. Sorry, once you distribute everything through. So what if we wanted to do this for 3 electrons instead of for 2? So for 3 electrons, we have psi of 1, 2, 3. It must be anti-symmetric under the exchange of any two electrons. So psi 1, 2, 3 equals minus psi 1, 3, 2. But if we exchange them twice, we get another minus sign and it goes positive again. So psi 1, 3, 2 equals minus psi 3, 1, 2. And then that's true for all six possible permutations of the numbers 1, 2, and 3. So if we do an even number of exchanges, we get a positive sign. If we do an odd number of exchanges relative to the beginning, we get a negative sign. So the only way this can be true for all six permutations is if we do the following kind of thing. We're going to have six different Hartree products of orbitals 1, 2, and 3, and all possible placements for electrons 1, 2, and 3 within those orbitals. Whenever we've, done an even, whenever we've done an odd number of exchanges, there's a minus sign. Whenever we've done an even number of exchanges to get there, there's a positive sign. So that gives six terms, so our normalization constant is 1 over 6. So the way this generalizes to arbitrary number of electrons is we have a wave function, which is a function of n electrons, electron 1, 2, all the way to electron n where we have a normalization constant, 1 over the square root of n factorial, because there are always n factorial permutations of n electrons in our wave function in those n orbitals. Of We have a determinant now of n by n matrix, where our rows, once again, are electrons, electron 1 up to electron n, and our columns are orbitals, orbital 1 up to orbital n. So if you do something like this, what happens when you take the determinant is that for any pair of electrons, psi 1, 2, all the way up to ij, up to n, if you trade any two electrons within here, you will obey this principle that we need a negative sign in front of the same wave function. And that respects the anti-symmetry principle, which is why our wave function for atoms and molecules with multiple electrons is always going to be a Slater determinant.